Well, today we are now on. Um, I think this is part three of our of our uh, series on entire uh, a, a series that warrants a response, not only to ACCI family but to all Christians, no, those who really follow Jesus Christ. Our title is 2021. Our series title is 2021. Shine for Jesus. You see, Jesus said in Matthew 14, verse 6, uh, Matthew 5, verse 16, He says there, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now, this statement of Jesus clearly tells us that we need to be authentic Christians, not only in word, but especially in deeds or actions. Palagi ko nga sinasabi, pala, dapat ay mula sa puso, hindi sa nguso. Pakisabi mo nga, Mula sa puso, hindi sa nguso. You see, God has prepared the heart, mind, and soul of uh, of our ACCI family members because Jesus needs to be uh, needs us to be His voice to share the gospel to every soul. And that this message is not only for ACCI family but for every uh, Christ believing Christian. Okay, those who really fa- want to follow Jesus Christ. We were all challenged to no longer be mediocre Christians, but to be true disciples of Jesus Christ. Not just a mere follower, but we need to be true disciples of Jesus Christ. Now with this in my heart and spirit, uh, in my heart, in my soul, in my spirit, in my mind, we have started a series on the letter of Paul, to the Christians in Rome. That's why itong series po natin, uh, this will run up to November because we will be discussing, we will be preaching and teaching you know, the, message, the messages of Paul to the Roman Christians, the whole book of Ro- Romans. As I've mentioned before, the letters of Paul are not easy to read. Mahirap po. We need to take his letters in context by understanding and looking at the situation of every church that he wrote to. Personally, as a pastor and as a preacher, I do not really take uh, uh, many of uh, the doctrines no, from, from Paul. But uh, my own, the, doc, the only doctrine that I take, uh, that I accept and I embrace, are the doctrines that comes from Jesus Christ. See, the, the temptation of getting doctrines from, from, the, from Paul's letters must be carefully and exegetically be studied. Dapat pag-aralan po muna talaga bago i-embrace no, uh, as a doctrine on some of the letters of Paul. It's not easy. Especially this book, Romans, it's not an easy read. Beware of this trap. Always check the fruit of the spiritual leaders. Sometimes gagamitin po ito. Eh, no? Gagamitin po ito. And I've seen so many spiritual leaders who are using this for their own benefit. No? And always check the fruit of the spiritual leaders and carefully scrutinize their teachings and doctrines of the church that you will choose to entrust your spiritual life. Listen to some of uh, listen to what Jesus Himself um, warned us about this. Jesus Himself warned us about this. Matthew 24, verse 4 to 5. Ito po yung enumerate niya uh, all of the signs of the end of age, no? Sabi niya, Matthew 24, verse 45, pinakauna po ito, sabi niya, Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah, and I will, and, and, and they will deceive many. So, sabi po, name, claiming they are the Messiah. You see, I have a short list. I have a checklist. Short lang naman. I have a short checklist of some Christian religious views that are not validated by scriptures. Ulitin ko po to. I have uh, a short list of some Christian religious views that are not validated by scripture. I will share some of them with you. Not to offend anyone or any Christian religious views, but to make everyone consider 
to at least validate if these teachings are to be in the right context with the word of God. Dapat po tama ang konteksto. Ano? Not to offend every anyone, but at least to challenge, no? Huwag po tayong tanggap ng tanggap. Kailangan ay pag-aralan din po natin. I myself is open for correction. In my ACCI family, I, uh, if you need to correct me, just send me a message, no? I am willing, no? If kumali talaga ako, I, 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 in humility, I will accept kumali ako. And we're in this together. And um, so, uh, I'm open for correction because as spiritual leaders, as a spiritual leader, I will be held accountable, especially yung souls that Uh, that that has been entrusted to me so that is following uh, my, uh, our teachings napakahalaga po let me just enumerate some some of the uh, the, the a, a checklist no that dapat uh, tignan po natin no uh, hindi ko po siya i will not go into this uh, i will not go into it to this Uh, lengthily or uh, deeply but meron po kasi dyan na nakalagay na scripture verse and you may want to check it out yourself okay if if the slides are there now just take a picture no no now number one if you are um these, uh, these are some of the 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 the, uh, the teachings no uh, christian views sabi nila doon if you are not a member of a specific church you will not be saved. If you are not a member of a specific church, you will not be saved. So if this, have, so if this is the case, then the church is the Messiah. Am I right? Next, if a, if a preacher claims exclusivity, that it is only his teaching and interpretation that is right, and everyone else is, is wrong, and thus his teaching alone can bring you to heaven. Wow then he becomes the messiah in fact uh, there are those also who even uh, 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 who even uh, curses no All, because he curses the pastors the priests the ministers and everyone no because they say, he say, he's always telling that their teaching is wrong now there are also those who tells us that the teachings that there, there are teachings that only apostles can teach the word of God and can perform baptism. Come on, check it out in scripture. Hindi lang po apostol, lang po pwede no? uh, na magturo ng, Bib- ng Biblia, ng word of God. At hindi lang po apostol na pwede mag- magbaptize. Meron din po those who, uh, whose teachings that, that if you are not baptized, check it out. The verse is there. Meron din po nagsasabi that, that the Holy Spirit is no longer present. Basahin po natin maigi. Basahin po natin maigi. Masahin po natin yung scripture na inailagay ko dyan. And there are more, huh? There are more. And um, there are those also who who thinks that, or he even, they embrace it even, that born again is a religion. <laughs> It's not a religion. And then there are, the, there, there are those also who teaches that there are so many roads towards heaven. Come on! Marami daw daan patungo sa langit. Ha? Isa lang ang daan, alam niyo po yan. Isa lang ang daan papunta sa langit. And um, how about yung pangamamanata? Ang dami po ng mga, mga sa ating bansa na mamanata. Uh, ang, ang akala nila, o ang pinaniniwalaan nila, ang pamamanata is a way to thank God, to please Him. You know? Para pasalamatan ng Panginoon. To please Him and to be assured of a, year's, of a whole year's blessing. Kaya namamanata sila. Okay? May, minsan pa, may prayer request na ako, mamamanata yan. You know, uh, so it's important for all of us to be wise. Meron din po nagtuturo that women are not allowed to preach, much more to lead. Alam mo, uh, marami po mga tradition, traditions of the churches that they, they don't because of what Paul uh, taught them. No, Sinabi sa Corinto, basahin po natin yan. Actually, there are 10 examples of women Uh, women leaders in the Bible. If you want to talk about it, no, send me a message, write a comment down, and then I'm going to send you uh, an email uh, 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 on, on the explanation. It's not only men are entrusted the Word of God, no, and uh, not only men are uh, entrusted to preach. No? 
Meron din pong nagtuturo that images, yung that that images, handmade images that the that uh, uh, there are that are formed to look like Bible personalities, no? And even look like Jesus Christ can represent the actual Bible persons, and that saints have specific blessings to offer. Ano po yung ko sabihin niyan? Alam niyo po yung gawang kamay. Uh, ang gagawa po naman ng mga apostol, talaga bang gagawa po sila? Si Jesus Christ, nako, um, um, iba pa yung itsura ni Jesus Christ. So, uh, saan nila nakuha yung itsura? Itsura ni Apostol Pablo, itsura ni Past- Apostol Pedro. And uh, malinaw na malinaw po yan na utos, na utos, isa sa mga utos ng Panginoon. You shall not worship graven images. Alam niyo po, patawarin niyo po ako, I'm not here to offend, but please, read Deuteronomy chapter 20 at malinawan malinawan uh, Exodus chapter 20 pala I'm sorry at malinawan po tayo about this hindi po tayo nag I don't want to offend but you know the truth shall set us free meron din pong uh, sinasabi about our beloved no our more more uh, our loved mama mary we love mama mary we respect mama mary no and um, he she is the earthly seed, uh, earthly mother of uh, Jesus Christ and we love her pero ang turo po is that she is she is sinless wala raw kasalanan si Mama Mary come on si Mama Mary mismo may ginawang kanta basahin niyo po yon no basahin niyo po yung ginawang kanta ni ni, ni Mama Mary at dito sa pagkaturuan ni Apostol Pablo makikita din po natin ang sinabi na all have sinned all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God di po ba uh, so hindi po basahin po natin ang Bible and check out every doctrine that we follow no meron pa po nag, nag uh, may mga church um, christian religious belief na na yung si Abba Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit ay isa no isa lang sila you know they don't believe in the triune god come on Tignan po natin uli. Sa Matthew 3, makita nyo po isang senaryo dyan na andya dyan ang God the Father, andya dyan si Jesus, andya dyan ang Holy Spirit, andya dyan ang God the Father. Pasahin po natin. And uh, meron din po nagtuturo that the Bible is not to be read by everyone. Na specific lang na tao ang pwedeng makaba, magbasa at mag-interpret ng Bible. Come on, how can the Bible be the light lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path? How can the Bible be the sword of our spirit? Come on. The, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, if you're not going to read it. And then there, that there are, uh, not, and then there are people who believe that there are persons sent by God to finish the unfinished work of Christ. There are people unfinished work of Christ. Sabi ni Jesus Christ, His last words, it is, finished and 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 meron pa pong isa ako idadagdag no that to serve Jesus you have to be a celibate ano yung celibate hindi dapat mag-asawa come on tingnan mo naman basahin niyo sa Timoteo basahin mo pa sa uh, first Timothy chapter, chapter 4 1, 1 to 4 ang sakit po na sinabi ni apostol Pablo doon ito raw ay katuruan ng demonyo yung hindi pag-aasawa yung sinasabi ni apostol Pablo kasi noon na wag kang mag-asawa ay eh, para doon sa mga para hindi ka uh, para hindi tayo ma-distract sa ating mission, sa ating uh, uh, gawain. Pero sabi naman ni Apostle Pablo, "Dito ko hindi kayo makatingin, kasi mag-asawa kayo." Amen. Bakit ko po uh, isinel lahat ito kasi napakadami po. We need to be very sure of of the God, no, of the God that we believe in. No, the scriptures that we will embrace. Si Apostle Pablo is one one example. He's an example of a person who was so sincere and protective of the religious belief that he embraced. In fact, he protected it that, you know, he persecuted the Christians, put them to prison. You know, he gave the, the go signal no, to, to stone Stephen to death, the first martyr. He was so sincere. Marami po tayo dyan, you know. Very sincere tayo. We protect our religion. But scripture tells us that he was sincerely wrong and you know from Saul he became Paul uh, because his life was changed no his life was changed Jesus Christ he had 
an experience with Jesus Christ. Tanda mo nga sa katabi mo, may experience ka na ba kay Jesus Christ? You know, they have, you have experienced His presence in your life. Kasi kung hindi mo pa na-experience, pray for it, my friends. Oh, he will show Himself to you. Now, this now brings me to the question, what is the true religion? What is the true God that we must embrace? Anong mga katuroan na dapat natin? Anong doktrina na dapat natin sundin? My answer is this. First and foremost, it is not religion that we must embrace. But it is the God of the religion that we, we need to believe in. That we, the, the God of the religion that we must believe, love, embrace, and trust. A God that we can trust with our life here on earth. And a God who can bring us to heaven. We can trust Him not to bring us to, so that we may be with Him in heaven. The problem with humanity is that we believe in the existence of God. But we make that God to conform to our selfish and personal wants. The problem with humanity is that we believe in the existence of a God, but we make that God to conform to our selfish and personal wants and needs. I would dare say that religion is what man says about God. Okay? Instead of other way around. What God says about religion. No? Religion is what man says about God. Let me expound uh, on this as I walk you through the second part of chap- the first chapter of Paul's letter to the Roman Christians. And um, I have entitled this uh, message, Making Our Own God. Makes sense, no? Making Our Own God. Our anchor verse will come from our reading itself, Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Ang sabi po doon, For although they know God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Romans chapter 1 verse 21. Let, 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 let me walk you through the, through the reading first. Um, mark it. Ang reading natin is from Romans chapter 1 verse 18 to 32. Verse 18. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Since that may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from that has been made so that people are without excuse. This is the Apostle Paul uh, giving rebuke no? uh, to, to, uh, to his listeners, to the, to the Christians in Rome. Sabi niya, no? uh, sabi niya doon, no? uh, uh, for since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, even creation itself, cre- amazing, creation is amazing. You know, some of the atheists Uh, tells us that you know they don't they believe in the big bang big bang they believe that nothing exists uh, something existed from not from from, uh, uh, from this bang big bang theory naniniwala sila na may mag exist out of nothing come on how, how can that be how can that be tignan nyo ang creation look at creation itself Look at the human body, how God created our human body. Each part of our body is important. Wala pong tapon dyan. Lahat ay kailangan, kailangan natin. Maging itong kuko na to, nakaw. Pag ito, pag nawala ang kuko, alam ng Panginoon, nangangati tayo. Pag nawala ang kuko, paano ka mga ngamot? Okay, pwede mo siguro, ah, pastor, pwede naman yung ano, kahoy na lang. Okay, sige. E, paano na kung puno na to? Paano mo tatanggalin yung laman yan? Susoksokan mo ng, <laughs> ng kahoy? You see, all parts of our 
all parts of our body. Now, God designed it. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Eksakto, kumpleto, wala na po tayong kailangan. You see, uh, our God is alive. Uh, in my 63 years of existence, I can boldly and you know uh, uh, share to you that, hey, God has proven to me that He is alive. Pastor, na, na, nagpakita na ba sa'yo si Lord? No? Na ganun. Ako, come on. Kapatid, huminga ka nga ng malalim. Anong pumasok sa ilong mo? Hangin. Nakita mo ba? Yung hangin na pumasok sa loob mo. You see? Pero you're still alive because of that air na hindi mo nakikita. Ganun din ang ating Diyos. Ganun din ang ating Diyos na buhay. Si, ikaw muna po. Sandali lang po ah. Sandali at tatanggalin ko lang po yung aking internet at uh, sa mobile at tumutunog. Okay, there you go. All right. So, but have I heard this voice? Mali, masama po magsinungaling, but I can tell you squarely without batting an eyelash. I have heard this voice very clearly several times, no. There are times talagang wala akong makita, pero there are times men Uh, 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 the voice of men will really speak to me. Oh, one example lang, one example. Ako po yung operahan. I was about to be, to have a major surgery of my hip. And I was, this was about third or fourth, my fourth or fifth surgery. Yeah, I told, uh, I was speaking to God. I was all alone in my room. And then, uh, nasabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, wala palang, wala palang veterano sa, sa surgery. Ilang beses na ako na, na operahan pero hanggang ngayon kinakabahan pa ako. Sabi ko sa kanya, Panginoon, pwede po ba iparanda mo sa akin na andi dito ka kasi natatakot po ako. Kinakabahan ako. Pwede po ba paramdam niyo sa akin na andi dito ka? It was me and the Lord. And I was not even speaking with a voice. It was my heart, my thought. We were both communicating. Alam niyo ba? Noong ako'y sinundo ng mga Uh, AIDS, alam niyo mga AIDS, mga manong, no, galing, dadali na ako sa, from my room to the operating table, the operating room. Isa sa mga manong doon, whispered a word in my, on my ear, sabi niya, uh, Sir, meron pong message si Lord sa iyo. Alam ako ng message? Sabi niya, do not fear, do not be discouraged, for I, the Lord your God, is with you. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Wow. Sa so, dinabing dami ng mga ng mga uh, AIDS doon, yung pang yung pang mama na yon ang kumuha sa akin. Come on. Do you believe in chas? Ang nagkataon lang siguro yung pastor. Baka lahat ng kanyang ano, lahat ng kanyang uh, sinusundo, dadalin doon, yun ang sinasabi niya. Okay, sige, isa pa. Ang anak ko po ay uh, seven years ago, my eldest daughter passed away. She was a special child and I love her so, so much. I love her dearly and even now I still uh, I still miss her. I still miss her. And uh, when she was uh, reeled in sa emergency room or sa, do sa, sa emergency room, I was there pero nung i-intubate na siya, uh, pinaalis na ako ng doktor. You know, doon sa may pintuan I, I knelt down It was me and the Lord. I was not even speaking audibly. Ang sabi ko, Lord, pwede po ba hindi ko kaya na mawala si si ano mawala si Angela not at this time. Please give give me more time. Kasi yun ang panalangin ko sa kanya nung pinanganak siya, eh. Lord, bigay mo nga sa akin si Angela kahit na anong itsura niya, kahit na anong siya maging basta bigay sa akin and God answered me. God gave us Angela for 23 years. Pero nung time na yun, sabi ko, Lord, pwede pa ba ibang taon, ilang taon, ilang taon pa? But my Angela passed away. Nung nalaman ko, nag-pass away, I, 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 I again, uh, naririnig ko, nakita ko, pumunta ako, lumuhod uli ako, lumabas, lumuhod uli ako, sabi ko, Lord, your will be done. Pero pwede po ba akong mag, ano, mag-request? Sabi ko, uh, pwede ba ako mag-request? Na pagdating ni Angela sa langit, pwede po ba si Jesus ang ang mag-invite ang sumalubong sa kanya yakapin siya at sabihin niya Angela well done my good and faithful servant 
it was not even an audible prayer. You know, the following day, one of our members, na graphic uh, designer, sent me uh, a picture na ginawa niya. Sabi niya, pwede, papi, pwede po ba itong ipost sa ating uh, FB account? No? Alam niyo kung ano ko lagay doon? The gates of heaven behind Jesus Christ, kalahati lang, embracing Angela, at nakalagay sa side, Angela, well done, my good and faithful servant. Come on! Sabihin niyo nga sa akin ko pa paano yan. You know? Sa Muntinlupa, I was there sa Muntinlupa. May mag-aaway na dalawang pangkat dahil sa akin. No? At ako ay talaga namang madadamay ako noon. No? Ayaw nilang paawat. No? Mga mata nila, pungkukso nang pumatay. Pero ano, sabi sa akin, narinig ko talaga, sabi ng Panginoon sa akin, use my name. At nung sinabi ko, sa pangalan ni Jesus, huminahong kayo. Naku, para silang mga para silang mga uh, binuhusan ng malamig na tubig. Come on. Dapat po magkaroon, mag-desire po tayo, magkaroon tayo ng experience no? uh, with the Lord. He is alive. He is a living God. Hindi lang po siya uh, pigment of our imagination of a rich, uh, a rich mind. He is alive. Let's continue with verse 21. Sabi po sa verse 21. For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like a mortal human being and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worship and serve created things rather than the Creator who is forever praised. Amen. Worshiping images. You know, sabi niya dito, uh, and exchange the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal human beings and birds and animals and reptiles. Tapos sabi ng Panginoon, ber- sabi ni Apostol Pablo, therefore God gave them over in the sinful desires of their heart to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. Nakita na bobo ko yun ng aso, or animals, no? Yo, no? uh, ayoko maging uh, ayoko maging Manny Pacquiao, ha? Don't please do not do not uh, uh, misinterpret, misquote or you know, just just I hope you can uh, uh, you can understand when I say this, you know. You know, human beings are different from animals. That's it. Right? Animals can do it, no? Can do sex anywhere with everyone. Okay. Pero ang sabi ni si ni Apostle Pablo dahil nga sa uh, hindi siya hindi tinatanggap ang Panginoon, no? And they, they glorified him, they gave thanks to him. Uh, they claimed to be wise and they became fool, but they exchanged the glory of the mortal God for images made to look like mortal human being and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore, God gave them over do sa kanilang sinful desires, you know? Sinful desires. Kaya kung ano-ano na lang, kaya nag, they live in pure lives. Okay. One example is yung Jezebel spirit. Alam niyo ba si Jezebel spirit? Read it also about Jezebel. Yung know, Jezebel spirit. Uh, uh, tinuturo niya noon na tama lang, uh, ta- ta- tama lang yung adultery. You know? Uh, acceptable yung prostitution. Come on. Y- yan, ang, yan ang mga t- uh, tinuturo na. No? Tinuturo ni Jezebel. No? Uh, what about this uh, with all due respect to my brother Hindus no there's so m- millions of gods come on who will, who will you who will you uh, follow and even uh, animals they worship my friends God loves you no um, to my brother Hindus Jesus loves you God loves us so much God loves you you know uh, if you if you only uh, study the life of Jesus and know the heart and mind of God and compare it 
to the millions of your gods, you will see, you will see that God, our God, through Jesus Christ, loves you. They will not enslave you. They will not scare you. And He is a living and loving God. He is a holy God. Today is the idolatrous worship of images and people. Alam mo, minsan nga eh, nakaka, nakaka-cringe din eh, no? Nakarinig na kayo ng mga, mga fans screaming because of Justin Bieber. Beatles, they scream, they shout. Hindi himatay pa. Tamo, come on. They can worship the creator, created beings rather than the creator. Check it out, mga anak. Kaya nga po, inayaan na ng Panginoon. Sige, napakagaling. Mamaya po, ma-explain ko sa inyo. Ano yung, uh, that, uh, you know, our God is a gentle, uh, gentle God. Oh. Hindi siya, hindi siya diktador. No, hindi siya con- uh, control freak. Yeah. Let's continue with um, the next uh, verse. So verse 26. Sabi doon, Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Uh, again, I... I'm not here to offend anyone. And we are reading this from the Word of God itself. And I'm here to uh, uh, not to force you, but just to make you consider. Consider the things that we do. Okay? Uh, please, listen to my heart. My heart, God's, God's heart is in my heart and I love you guys. Pero ito kasi, salita na ng Diyos ito. Hindi ko gawa-gawa lang. Verse 26. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lusts. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. Ano ibig sabihin? In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lusts for one another men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error you know when i read this hindi naman i don't want to point a finger but you know when i read this my heart goes to those who are really being deceived by the enemy You know, women exchange natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. Kailangan ko ba explain sa inyo yun? Unnatural sexual relations. Men abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lusts with one another. Wala pong pinanganak. Sorry po ha, again. Please, I love you guys. Wala pong pinanganak uh, 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 na... na na homosexual or, or lesbian or, or gay or, no? wala pong ipinanganak pinangana, dalang ginawa lang po talaga ng Panginoon sabi ko nga palagi si Adam and Eve not Adam and Steve you know? bakit ba merong ganon lalaki ka bakit? you know what kagagawan din ng tao yan eh kagagawan ng tao bakit nagkaloko-loko ang 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 ang, ang, ang ating ano ang ating uh, Gaw, uh, ang make, made ang ating mga hormones. Bakit nagkakanda loko-loko ang mga hormones natin? You know? well, may mga IVF pa, no? You know, yung papalakihin yung ano, sa loob ng, tu- ng, ng, ng tubo sa laboratorio. You know, mandami yan. Hindi lang, you know, hindi ka pinanganak ng ganyan, kapatid. Minsan, kalimitan, lumaki ka kasama mo mga babae matita mo, lola mo, nanay mo, mga kapatid mo, puro babae. Kaya, ikaw, ganun na rin na feeling mo. O kaya, pinanganak ka, puro lalaki na sa paligid mo. Tatay mo, tatay mo, tinuturoan ka pa ng natatay mo mag-MMA, nga ganun ba? Tapos, lahat, kapatid mo, mga kabarkada mo, puro lalaki, tapos, akala mo, lalaki ka na rin. But, ang natural na, na, na ginawa po ng Panginoon, man for women and women, 
own man. Other than that, it is not his plan. Hindi po yan plano ng Panginoon. Following our own heart, even to, you know, niya, eh, paano pastor eh, ito talaga eh. You know, you follow your heart. Do you want to follow your heart even to the point of hurting God's heart? Sobra namang selfish yan. God loves us so much, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus. And Jesus Christ loved us so much that He suffered for us. Nakisimba ka rin, nakisimba rin naman, eh, we believe in them, right? Pero alam mo yun, para lang mat- mas- matugunan yung puso mo, no? sundin ang puso to the point of hurting God's heart. And I'm, I'm not even talking, I'm not only talking about the, homo, the homosexuals and the you know, yung mga less gay, gays and lesbians. Kahit na tayo mga lalaki, ganun din. Eh, paano po, pastor, eh, hindi ko mahal yung asawa ko, kaya itong kabila, masawal ko, even tibok ng puso ko. Come on. Susundin mo yung puso na yan? <laughs> to the point of hurting the heart of God. Kapatid, magising po tayo. Mamuhay tayo ng may, katu- may, may katuwiran at hindi nangangatwiran. At hindi nangangatwiran. Napakasakit po ako personal kapag anak ko pa. Napakasakit po. No? Uh, minahal namin. Tapos nag-asawa, may anak. Pagkatapos ng ibang babae, iba-ibang babae. At ang alam mo kung anong rason? Eh, paano po, papi? Paano naman yung kaligayahan ko? Wow! Wow! Uh, kapatid, mga tatay, ha? Mga tatay, mga nanay. Hindi lang nanay, tatay, pati nanay. Once you got married, marriage is not a contract, it's a covenant from God. Pinagkatiwala sa'yo, tatay, si nanay. Nanay, pinagkatiwala sa'yo si tatay. At dahil dyan, nagkaroon pa kayo ng anak. Ibig sabihin, sinelyuhan ng Panginoon ng pamilya mo. Huwag ka na maanap na ibang pamilya. Hindi po, oh, kasi bungangera yung asawa ko. Yun, huh? Tatay, you have to lead your family, the spiritual life of your family. Bagi maganda example. Let your home, unless the Lord builds the house, the workers shall labor in vain. In vain. Let your home be totally surrendered to a living and loving and holy God. Yan po ang ang, ang yan po ang y- yung mataray na yung bungangerang asawa, naku hitit hihinto yan. Yung lasenggong asawa, hihinto yan. But we commit ourselves para sa pamilya. And by the way, wag lang para sa anak, dapat para sa inyong dalawa din. Ano po ba? Mamuhay tayo ng may katuwiran, wag tayo mga ngatwiran. We justify, uh, we live in, you know, may justification tayo by twisting God's command. No? Twisting God's command and, uh, and truth just to satisfy our personal needs to the point of even hurting God's heart. Hindi po ako galit. Ano lang po talagang uh, passionate lang po ako talaga dito kasi ayaw na ayaw ko pong nasasaktan ang puso ng ating Diyos. Sobra na po ang ginawa niya, niya para sa atin. Hindi po makatwira, hindi, mak- hindi makatwira, walang hustisya po yung saktan pa natin ang kanyang puso para lang pa para sa ating pangsarili. Umpisa, uh, pag, ipagpatuloy po natin yung last verses natin sa verse 28. Ito po makinig po kayo. Resulta po ito eh. Sabi niya, verse 28, Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, no? so God gave them over to a depraved mind so that they do what ought not to be done. Sino yung may depraved mind? Sino? Si Satan. Si Satan. Sige na. Si Satan gusto nyo? Sige na. Kasi because just as they do not, did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, o ayaw mo nang kaalaman mo sa, sa Diyos at didu ka sa kabila kay Satan. Remember, Satan who will come, kill, steal, and destroy. He will destroy you. Hindi ka kampi si Satan. No? Bibigyan ka ng temporary pleasures of, uh, of, of sin. Pero at the end, you will suffer. Pero sabi niya, 
Sabi ni Apostle Pablo, kaya ginawa ng Panginoon ni God, ano, they gave them over to a depraved mind. Sino yan? Satan. Relentless. Come to kill, steal, and destroy you, your family, and the, and the, the generations. And then, in verse 29, they have become filled with every kind of wickedness. Sino po ito? Sino po ito? Yung sumu- isinuko na yung pangal isinuko na yung buhay niya kay Satan. Verse 29, they have become filled with every kind of wickedness, evil, greed, and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossip, slanderers, God-haters, insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They have no understanding, no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death. They do not. They not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. Wow, wow! Pati pala yung those who are approve, uh, do, uh, approving this, no? Kasama din po pala sila. Ano po yung tingnan po natin? Madami po yung enumerate, no? Sabi pa selfish and personal gains, no? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, will lead to no pag palagi kang makasarili selfish this will lead to lead to what they will lead to wickedness evil greed depravity ano yung ibig sabihin depravity corruption envy murder strife and strife conflict no away-away deceit deception and malice no malicia And then they resort to what? Dahil ganun na nasa isip niya, they resort to what? They, they resort to gossip, rakaw, and slander. Ano yung slander? Insulto. pag insulto And they become God-haters. They become insolent or insolent or disrespectful. They become insolent. They become arrogant, yabang, boastful. Sobrang yabang yan. They invent ways of doing evil. Ito pa isa, they disobey their parents. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. And they have no understanding, no fidelity. Ano ibig sabihin na no fidelity? No faithfulness. No love. Alam nilang love. Take, take, take. And no mercy. Walang awa. Okay? So napakahalaga po na, you know, Look at our hearts. Tingnan po natin. Naniniwala ka na rin lang na may Diyos. Aralan mo kung sinong Diyos ang tama. Now, you know, the fact that you believe in a God, come on, do not just embrace the God that somebody gave to you. Or a God that you have inherited from your parents or from your community or from your uh, whoever. Seek yourself because eternity is forever. Amen? So let me close with this. Let us check our hearts, my friends. Check mo yung heart mo. Baka mamaya. Tignan mo yung heart mo. Are we looking for a God? Baka naman ang God mo, eh, ikaw lang ang gumawa ng God mo. No? Are we looking for a God who will I'm going to use the acronym HEART. Are, you, are, are we looking for a God who will heal us instead? Are you looking for a God who will heal, heal us instead? Uh, uh, or are we looking for a God who will justify hatred and unforgiveness in our hearts? Uh, yan, ba, yan ba ang kailangan natin? No? Yan ba hinahanap natin? Uh, Check our hearts. Are we looking for a God who will heal us? No? Or a God who will justify hatred? No? Yung mga tipong God na sinabi na, na instead na healing, eh, galit, no? Aapuyan ka pa, sisilaban ka pa para lalo kang magalit. And unforgiveness in our hearts. Gusto mo ba ng God na ganun? 
Letter E of of hearts. Are we looking for a God who will empower us to obey? Empower us to obey. Or a God that we can control to confirm with our every wants and action. Gusto mo ng God na ganon. Gusto mo ba ng God na who will empower us to obey? You know, our God as the Holy Spirit. No? Uh, the Holy Spirit will check us out. Check us. Rebuke. Teach us. You know, it will empower us to obey. Kaya nating uh, mag-obey sa Kanya because we love Him, right? Or, ang inahanap po bang God, yung God that we can control to conform with everyone's and action. Gusto mo ba ng ganung God? Sabi nga nung isang uh, uh, sa isa sa mga mini-minister ko mga kabataan sa jail. I was with one organization and um, uh, nag, uh, ano kami, nag, uh, minister kami sa mga CICL, Children in Conflict with the Law. Uh, pinapalaya namin yan, tinatanggal namin sa mga matatandang bilangguya. Pinadala sa DSWD. Uh, alam mo yon Sabi ng isa, uh, Kilala, sabi ko, kilala niyo ba ang Diyos? Oo, oh, kilala ko ang Diyos. Kilala niyo si Jesus. Kilala niyo si Jesus. Kung kilala niyo ang Diyos, kilala niyo si Jesus, tinanong ko sila, bakit andito kayo? Bakit andito kayo? May tumasang kamay. Sabi niya, kaya po, kaya po kasi, nag-pray naman ako eh, no? Uh, uh, kailangan po kasi namin ng, ano, ng pera, kaya ako yun ang halbot. Hmm. No? Pwede po yun? Magpe-pray ka muna bago ka gumawa ng kasamaan. Lord, please, approve mo nga ito, Lord. Uh, approve mo nga ito. Nanakawin ko ito kasi kailangan lang eh. Kailangan ng pamilya ko eh. Please, bless. Bless this thievery. <laughs> I will rob somebody. Oh, Lord, please, bless mo po itong aking gagawin. Come on. Lord, Uh, I will, I will uh, kailangan ko lang po talaga maipa-abort tong batang ito kasi kawawa naman yung bata hindi ko kaya alagaan Lord bata pa ako hindi ko kaya alagaan i-bless mo naman Lord na maging healthy ako ipapa-abort ko to come on yan ba ang gusto niyong God? a God who can con- you can control to conform with our every want and action letter A of heart akronin natin uh, are we looking for a God who will allow pain to strengthen us or a God who will insulate us from pain and render us weak. Gusto nyo ba? Ayaw nyo lang ng suffering? Ayaw nyo ng problema? No? Kaya sabi mo, pag, dumating, pag uh, tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ, lahat ng problema mo masasolve. Come on, papatid. Hindi po ganun. It's not like that. Masasolve ba ng Panginoon yan? Merong ituturo sa'yo. You no, know? are you looking for that? Alam mo, isa kapatid ko, uh, kasi po lumaki po kami na uh, yung sakto lang, you know, sakto lang. Ako wala akong talagang laruan. Kinagawa ko lang yung sarili kong laruan noon, yung mga laruan na pang ano, malatan na laging ginagawa akong gulo. Tapos uh, tong kapatid ko ay eh, naging ano siya, uh, manda buhay niya. Tapos nagkaanak. Alam mo, sabi sa akin, ng kapatid ko, kuya ko yun. Sabi niya, Tol, Tol, alam mo, yung mga anak natin, yung mga anak ko, hindi ko yan hahayaan pagdaanan na maranasan niya yung pinagdaanan natin. Sabi ko naman, Tol, bakit? Kaya ka naging ganyan dahil dun sa pinagdaanan natin, hindi po ba? You know, there are also parents who love their, 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 their children so much. No? Da, ang, ang, ang gusto ng pang, ang, ang prayer ng mga, ng mga magulang is, Lord, Please isolate my children from problems. Come on. Pag dapat ganun, dapat ang prayer, Lord, please insulate my children from problems. Ibig sabihin nun, palakasin sila in face of trouble of, of problems. Kat parang ikaw, dapat ang prayer mo, Lord, huwag mo akong bigyan ng problema. Isolate me from problems. No? Dapat ang prayer, prayer natin, Lord, insulate me from problems so that I will know how to handle problems because I know that you are a God who will never leave us nor forsake me. You'll never leave me nor forsake me. Are you looking for that kind of a God? 
God who will allow pain to strengthen us or a God who will insulate us from pain and render us weak. And letter R of heart, are we looking for a God who will rebuke us, who rebukes and correct us with love? Or a God who will always accept our justification for our sins? Yan ang gusto natin. Yan ba ang gusto natin? Isang Diyos na pipikit na lang dahil mahal ko yan eh, sige, pipikit na lang ako, gumagawa ng kasalanan. Tatanggapin yung mga justifications natin. Come on. Check your hearts. Yung bang Diyos na yan ang gusto nyo? Yung, 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 yung Diyos na who will accept our justification for our sins? And finally, yung letter T of, uh, hindi pa pala, may dalawa pa. Yung letter T of heart. Are we looking for a God who will treat us as His children or a God whom we will treat as our slave to do all we wishes? Wow. Yung ba hinahanap mo? Yung, ako, hinahanap ko at napakasarap po that because of Jesus Christ, I am privileged to be called a child of God and I can call our Father, Abba Father. Yan ba hinahanap mo? Or yung God na we will treat Him as a slave to do all that we wishes. A vendo machine, a genie God. Lord, nagbigay ako ng tithes and love offerings, dapat ganito. Lord, nagfasting ako, dapat ganito. Dapat sagutin mo ito. Yan ba ang Diyos na gusto mo? Yung kaya mo utusan? <laughs> kaya mo gawing slave? Dahil nagbibigay ka ng tithes? bibigay ka ng love offering dahil nagpa-fasting ka, nagpe-pray ka, member ka ng church or whatever, ministry, dapat suklian ka kagad ng Diyos. Come on. Natanggap na po natin ang regalo ng Diyos. And that is enough. Which is the salvation of our soul. Amen? At napakaganda po kasi binigyan din po tayo ng Holy Spirit to guide us. And finally, letter S. Are we looking for a God who will save us from the consequence of our sin? Or a God who will encourage us to do what we want even if, it, even if we commit sin? Save us from the consequence of our sin? Or a God who will encourage us to do what we want even if it is to commit sin. Yung bang gusto mong Diyos? I-encourage ka pa? Sige, ang asawa mo kasi, ano eh, kasenggo eh. Sagutin mo na lang yung nagme-message sa'yo, PM, PM. Naawa naman ako sa'yo, Brad. Naawa naman ako. Naawa ako dito sa anak ko. Ako, ito yung anak ko. Yung bang gusto mong God? Naawa ako sa anak ko dahil napang-asawa niya, bungangera. So, papakita ko naman sa kanya. May mas maganda para sa kanya. Come on. Check our hearts. Check our hearts. Ako, I have decided. I want a God who will heal me. A God who will heal me. A God who will teach me to forgive no matter how painful it is. A God, I, I'm looking for a God and I'm worshiping a God now who empowers me to obey because I love Him, not because of the blessing that follows. I love a God who empowers me to obey, obey because of my love for Him. I have decided to have a God who will walk me through pain. Who will walk me through pain. I have, I have been there. No? I have experienced this. At, at my age now, at 63, I can, I can, with heads up, without batting an eyelash, God has been with me oh, through all the days, all the sufferings that I have. I have to go through all the blessings He is there. He is a God who will never leave me. I have found that God. 
And I'm looking for a God also who can openly rebuke me and correct me. Because He loves me. I look. Uh, I also have found a God who has treated me as a child, uh, as His children, not as a slave. A God who will not allow me to, ex- to you know, uh, to uh, have me strap explosives and then you know explode myself and kill people. That is not my God. My God loves me. He treats me as His child. That's the God I have chosen. And I love a God. I have chosen a God who saves me from the consequence, who who leads me, who, who walks with me, even though I walk or even though I carry the consequence of my sin. Amen, po ba? Praise the Lord. I hope I'm making my. Uh, you no, know, this is very clear to everyone. Check your heart. Ano klase ba ng Dios ang gusto mo? Let me challenge you with this. Choosing and following the right God is of vital importance in our lives, for our present lives, and the life where we will spend our forever. Is it in heaven or in hell? Seriously consider the first of the signs of the end of age, the end of time that Jesus gave to his disciples. In Matthew 24, verse 4 to 5, Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name claiming I am the Messiah and will deceive many. Pag-aralan niyo po yung mga, pinag- mga katuroan, doktrina na pinakikinggan po natin. If it will compromise the Word of God, huwag niyo na pong patulang. Mahalaga po. Pakinggan po natin. Marami daw po mga deceptive spirit. Marami, marami uh, they will call themselves the Messiah. Again, reminding you of what I have mentioned before. If you are a Christian who respond in fear of this end time message, please, pursue a serious effort to know Jesus more. Kung natatakot ka dahil malapit nang dumating si Jesus, tatakot ka, alamin mo naman ang puso ng Panginoon. Seriously for suicide. Hindi dapat ito katakutan. Dapat ito nga eh, hintayin with excitement. If you're a, ch- a Christian who thinks that, that hindi ito mangyayari in our generation, that this will not happen in our generation, please understand, my friends, that even death can happen to us anytime. So we have to be prepared every day, every minute of the day, every second of the day. If you are a Christian who feels excitement about this event, be absolutely sure that the God you will follow will guide you to a better life here on earth and lead you towards a life with Him in heaven. Pag-aralan niyo po, read the Bible. And if you have committed, if you if you have committed to Him, you found that God you want to follow. I found mine. Through Jesus Christ, my Savior and Lord, then obey and submit your life to Him. And together with ACCI family, let us not just feel saved, safe, and seated. Let us be part of this end time ministry. Know Him and make Him known. And let us all shine for Jesus. Amen. I hope this message that I have planted in your heart will take root, grow, and bear fruit in our life. By the way, you see. Wag po tayong uh, masanay lamang or to be contented with hearing this once. Go over the other preachings, the other messages. Read it over and over again. Amen? So, sabi, na, sabi ng Panginoon, di ba? Hearing and hearing the message of God. The message which is the words of Jesus Christ. Amen. I love sharing this because I'm so passionate that all of us will worship the one, the, light, the right God. We follow the right God. And if I have offended anyone, it was not intended. And by the way, the Word of God will always offend us. Accept it. No, pain is there. 
Tetapi may act on it. Hindi na maulit, no? Scabs are there so that we may be reminded of the pain of the past so that we will no longer commit the same mistake again. Once again, I would like to once again, I'd like to remind you that you are more important, you're more valuable than your mistakes. In the heart of God, the eyes of God, you're more valuable than our mistakes. Jesus Christ said in John 8.31, verse 31, memory of this, you hold on to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Amen. And if you're here today, you want to say, Lord, yung sinabi ni Pastor, eh, yung the God that I made. So that, you know, the God that I made para uh, sa sarili kong selfish needs. Yun ako nun eh. But today, I'd like to truly accept the, the, the right God. God will lead me towards a, a, a life here on earth, and give me a life here on earth, and a life in eternity, who is Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Let me just, uh, if you're here today and you want to you wanna renew your, your commitment to Jesus, or you want to accept Jesus Christ in your life, give me the privilege of uh, leading you to a prayer. I'm going to leave you, follow me, and let it be audible. Let it be audible see, because our, our, our battle is in the heavenly. Audible so that our enemy will hear it. And our angels, and the angels, only angels who command to, to minister to those who need that salvation will cover you. Say this prayer with me. Father, I come before you with thanksgiving in my heart, giving me, thank you for giving me this opportunity to recommit my life to you and to accept you once again as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for uh, this opportunity to accept you. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. You are the God that I am looking for. A God whom I will submit. A God whom I will surrender the Lordship of my life. Holy Spirit, take control. Make me walk like Jesus walked. I love you, Jesus. Come into my life. I open my heart to you. Once again, thank you, Father, for your love that you gave your son, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus, that you have left with us the Holy Spirit who will empower us to walk like you walk. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Angels are rejoicing and angels are working now to protect you. The Holy Spirit is now working. So that he will teach us and guide us towards a life worthy of the cross. Amen. Just once again, remember as a, this, uh, Jesus Christ as a family today. Kaya nga po, wag nang po kasana kayong uh, make it a point to worship with us together this time. Sabay sabay po tayo. So that we as a family can have communion with thanksgiving in our heart, remembering our love for Jesus. Amen? If you're here today and you have your elements with you, let me pray for you. Lord, I pray, Father, for these elements that you have prepared for us, that we have prepared. Sanctify it, Lord God, so that it will represent the, the body that was, uh, that was crucified in the cross and the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary for our salvation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us. Let's all together, as uh, with thanksgiving, remember Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Jesus in the night he was betrayed, he took bread, he gave thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you, eat it. This is my body. It will be given up for you. So partake of the bread. Right after supper, he took the cup again and gave thanks. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This will be shed for you and for all men. So that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of this precious Savior of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me close in. Let, let's close in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word that you have planted in our hearts. I, Lord, I pray, Father, for those who have heard this message, that they will sincerely consider their walk with you. I pray, Father God, that each and every one of us also will respond, Lord God, that we will live a life, a life uh, that is worthy of the cause, that we will shine in this dark world, and we will always be passionate in sharing Jesus Christ to people who will be a part of our life today. Thank you, Father. May these words, Lord God, that you have planted in our hearts, take root, grow, and bear fruit in our life. In Jesus' name, let's lift up your hands now. I'd like to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I now bless your hands that are lifted up, surrendering your Lord, the Lord of your life to Jesus. May God bless you and keep you. May His light shine upon you. And may the work of your hands be blessed so that God can use you as an extension or, uh, of His extension to touch lives and to, to, uh, to touch lives and, and uh, to be an, uh, an instrument to share His love to people who needs his love and his care. Thank you, Lord God. Use us, Lord God, as a channel of your blessing to those who need your blessing. And we give you glory, honor, and praise. And I release blessing upon your family. I release blessing upon your life. Breakthroughs in your life. I release that uh, restoration of everything that the enemy has stolen from you, especially relationship. And I pray for the restoration for families who are broken in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father, for the children, Lord God, of these families, that they will also, Lord God, be protected, Lord God. And like this I pray and I release in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.